Okay, so the first two pieces of digital field work that you might want to choose from uh, allow you to use your existing online identity or persona if you've got one. If you haven't, you're, you're probably going to have to make one uh, in some form. And that might be as simple as creating an Instagram account, but obviously that does connect what you're doing to your identity in, in some ways. Um, and the idea of the first one, which is called Make, Curate and Share, is to pull together, is to create a set of images on a theme and post them somewhere openly online with a short commentary. So the point is, is about making work visible. And the theme that we'd like you to explore is digital craft, okay? So that might be something about the way the digital and the analog relate to each other, or um, something broader than that, if, if you like, it's up to you to interpret. The important thing is that you, you generate, produce or create a set of images, could be as few as six, could be as many as a hundred, and post them somewhere openly online with a commentary. So this is about making work visible. And as you're doing it, ha just reflect on how that makes you feel and the way that knowing you're gonna post it online perhaps makes you consider what you're doing, the choices you're making, the pros and cons, you know, the risks that you might take, how honest you are, how experimental you are or not. So that's the first one. Um, the second one, is contributing to uh, knowledge, okay? And there's three subsections to that, but basically it's about getting involved in some discourse, in some chat, if you like. Uh, so uh, one way of doing that might be to um, get involved in a Twitter-based hashtag discussion. So there's various ones of those that you could connect to. Um, you, can, you can watch that discussion take place, you can tune into it, but we really want you to contribute to it as well and to see how people respond or not and, and your reflections on that. The second one is to uh, you know, contribute to something like a, a newspaper website comment se section or you know, mainstream media comment section. We all know they can be quite choppy, quite complex places. Uh, and so it's interesting to actually express an opinion and see what happens, okay? The third one is a bit more difficult, but that's about uh, contributing to, adding to, uh, or uh, expanding, making more accurate a Wikipedia article. Or, if you're feeling brave, you might want to start a whole new Wikipedia article and see how that process goes. So when you're doing that, it's interesting to consider, well, um, you know, what's, what's that process like? Um, is, is it easy? Is it difficult? Um, who, who's the community in Wikipedia? You know, when people are responding to what you've done, who is that? How do you imagine them? How do those people make you feel? And what are the choices you're making given the way that you're imagining what's going on in a kind of, in a kind of communal sense? So that's all about contributing to knowledge. One of the major things about the web that sometimes we forget is anybody can publish, however you want to consider the word publish. And that is the reason why social media and why Wikipedia exist, okay? You have the opportunity to contribute and extend knowledge uh, in a platform like Wikipedia. And it's a really interesting process. And it's something that any of us can do, including the people we work with and our students. So there's two pieces of field work that you can get stuck into. Do keep an open mind and do you know, reflect as you go. Really, really interested in that kind of story or that journey of the field work.